<laughs> Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Communications, Works, Energy and Labor, Mrs. Beverly Menz. Permanent Secretary, Health and Social Services, Mrs. Camille Gerald. And Flow Manager, Mr. Randolph Lewis. Good morning. Staff and residents of the Lookout Warden Assistance <coughs> Living, that's yourself. Good morning. Media, sorry, good afternoon, I'm sorry, <laughs> good afternoon. And media, good afternoon also. And welcome to this ceremony. Hopefully the first of many of these types of ceremonies geared towards advancing the needs of you, the elderly and residents in our community. We are here today, the 26th of February, still in the love month, to hand over 15 smartphones that will hopefully change your lives. The Ministry of Communications, Works and Energy um, put on this program just for you to enhance your livelihoods. With this said, I am now going to invite the Permanent Secretary, Mrs. Beverly Menz, to give some brief remarks. Thank you, Ms. Howe. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. <laughs> we're, we're still in morning mode. Yes, yes. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here and to see all your smiling faces this afternoon. So Monstrat over the past several years have stayed on course, we believe, with respect to the ICT vision, which is Monstrat in a digital world, green, connected, and thriving. A wide cross-section of the population has access to or own an ICT tool, which is used on a daily basis. Tools such as computers, cell phones, tablets, and we can go on and on. And of course, access to the internet. However, we have found at the ministry that in order to realize the vision of ICT on Monsrat, we need to reach out to as many communities as possible. We are already doing training with the very young primary school children on a weekly basis. We have also continued to deliver ICT tools in schools, churches, community centers, and other organizations. We decided this year, though, that we must include older persons in our targeted group of persons. Oftentimes, this group is left out. And we want to ensure that they too are a part of the new digital Montserrat. Not only are older persons sometimes left out, but we often underestimate their abilities to thrive when given something that is seen to be modern. Today, 14 older persons will receive smartphones as part of the Love Connection program. And I think we should applaud the one, the brain, the ones behind the brain of this. I really think it's a splendid opportunity to connect with, with, with this um, group of persons as we've tried to connect with all so many other groups. And I really feel excited that this is happening today. So the main objective of this program is for the targeted participants to connect and communicate with their business establishments, whether it be their banks, and so on, and their loved ones, of course, both local and overseas, in an easy and cost-efficient way. We will impart training to use the WhatsApp application to communicate with their loved ones and their business establishment. We will teach how to add contacts and so forth on their phones. We will teach about topping up their phones with data and connecting to Wi-Fi. We will also teach about engaging with brain games, we call them brain games, on their smartphones to keep their mind sharp and have fun whilst doing it. And I want to interject here that I've learned recently that the playing of games or the engaging in gaming um, for older persons in particular is something that is important for their mental health and for their physical health. So it's not just for them to, to, to use time and to while away the time, as we say, 
but it's also to keep them fit mentally and also it's also good for their brain and so um, they will enjoy the games of course on their phone but I wanted to also say that the playing of games especially as you get older is something that is actually encouraged so social services will continue to assist the selected older persons long after the training would have been given, and we thank them in advance for this. <laughs> Flo, we have Flo representatives with us this, this afternoon, and they provided the SIM cards that we would have used to put on the necessary data on these phones to start them off. We therefore extend a hearty thank you to Flo and the Social Services Department in partnering with us on this very important initiative. So I encourage you to enjoy your devices and we look forward to more initiatives like this one in the future. I want to thank Ms. Howe for all her hard work on this initiative and of course other ones and all other persons who would have made this program possible. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mrs. Mems. I now like to invite Mr. Randolph Lewis, manager of Flow, to give a brief, some brief remarks. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I will just, on behalf of Flow, I'd like to thank Lonnie for um, approaching us on this initiative. And um, when she approached me and she told me what she wanted to do, I had no problem um, being a part of it. So what we, we did, we provided the SIM cards for free and uh, with the, the 15 phones that are being provided, each phone has, will, will have $50 top up so that um, you guys could put on your first data plan, um, practice whatever you want to practice, to go online, whatever, um, free of cost. And for, you know, I think it's a month's plan. So for the first month, you'll have, you'll have access to data, you know. And um, it's always good to see that, you know, we include the, the elderly folks in whatever we do. I mean, it's, Everyone needs to get you know, up to it with technology, and it's, it's good that you know, we keep the older folks in mind when we do such things. So on behalf of Flo, once again, I'd just like to thank the ministry for including us in what they've decided to do here, and it's certainly a pleasure for us to be a part of this. Thank you. And now I'd like to invite P.S. Gerald to come and say her brief remarks. Good afternoon, everyone. I was so pleased and very happy when I actually read the email from Phyllis. I was like, wow, I was so happy. And I told her I wouldn't miss, I would not have missed today. So I was pleased to learn that the Ministry of Communication and Works, Energy and Labor had partnered with Flo to provide this important smart phone program as they recognize that information communication technology is important for everyone. On the whole, smartphones have become essential parts of our personal and business life as people can check their emails, do banking, book travel, shop, take pictures, and manage their social lives. They cross all ages and gender boundaries, and for the elderly, this should be no different. The arrival of smartphones has revolutionized telecommunications. No other invention has created an impact such as these devices. Older persons are largely disconnected from the world of digital tools and services, and technological development is already being shaped to accommodate older people's needs across the world. So when Ms. Lonnie Howe approached the Department of Social Services with this exciting opportunity, of course, we leaped at the chance to participate. She shared the intention to provide 15 smartphones for a select group of older persons who had to meet certain criteria and be located within close proximity to enable monitoring of the devices. Based on this, we suggested that older persons be selected from the Lookout Warden supported apartments who would be able to meet the initial criteria and live within close proximity to each other. The Ministry of Health and Social Services recognized that communication is essential for the elderly who rely on family and other social relationships to enable them to live independently. 
In Montserrat, the volcanic eruption of 1995 and 1997 led to the displacement of many families. Families moved overseas to the United Kingdom, United States of America, and other parts of the Caribbean region. Many older persons were displaced in terms of having to move to alternative locations, taking very little with them. Many lost important links and engagement with their family, friends, and communities, which left large gaps in their support structures and lives. So, becoming involved in this initiative was a must for the Ministry of Health and Social Services. Participants will be trained in the use of smartphone devices, which will have useful and necessary applications. It will help them cope with everyday activities and increase their autonomy. The smartphone will play an important role in helping older persons in many ways. One, enabling them to stay connected despite the many miles that separate them. Two, making and maintaining social relationships. Three, providing a sense of security and safety for older persons. Feel safer to be alone or call in when in difficulty. Four, provide accessibility, practically any time access, so you can easily call emergency services. Five, increase confidence of living independently. And seven, to have fun using your smartphone, activities, and games. These devices would enable people to feel more accessible, more independent, and safer for longer. So, don't forget what I've had to say. Have some fun with the games you can play day by day. And whilst families may be far away, use your device to stay closer to them in a cost-effective way. The Ministry of Health and Social Services would like to express our appreciation to Cable and Wireless Limited and the Ministry of Communications and Works, and I'm saying Cable and Wireless, I should have said flow, for making the opportunity available to residents of the Lookout Ward and Supported Apartments. We look forward to supporting this development and hope to continue to work in collaboration with you to consider further developments for a wider cross-section of older persons who could benefit from this type of device in living independently within Montserrat? Thank you. Thank you, P.S. And before we continue, I'd just like to say we are handing over 15 phones, 14 to the residents, and one we will leave here at the residence for those persons who can't necessarily use the phones but would want to still be in touch with their families and friends abroad. So the objective is really for everyone, not just the ones who have the phones, right? So I'd just like to make that point. And secondly, there is actually Wi-Fi here. So even after the $50 is finished next, um, next month, you could always come here and also um, use your phones just as though you have the actual data on your phone. Right, so I'd just like to make those two points clear. Um, at this point, I'd like to invite Warden, Miss um, Claytine, to come and say a few brief remarks as well. Good, good afternoon, sorry Piggy, good afternoon. Um, I didn't expect to speak today, so I'm going to be very brief, but I just wanted to push in the point that after we would have had the training that us, all three of the wardens that are here, are here for your continued support. I can tell you when I first got my first smartphone, I, and I think I'm fairly young, didn't know how to answer it. I was tapping, pushing, pushing. So anyone could have trouble using a smartphone, but we're here for your continued support for those who need help topping up after the $50 would have been done. We can assist you with doing that. And also, as the PS would have stated, the phone is also about you having fun in addition to staying connected. So for those who agreed to participate, we do appreciate you, and we're here to support you throughout the process. Thank you. So at this point, I'd like to invite. Yes, I'd like to invite one of the residents who wanted to say something on behalf of the other residents, Mr. Joseph Mead. <laughs> Yes, good afternoon, good afternoon to everyone. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to thank um, Flo and Social Services and Ms. Beverly Menz and everybody for not forgetting us because as all the folks in Montreal being 
kind of we forget it sometimes um, in the back part of everything. But this initiative here is very, very good. I appreciate it very much. And I'm sure everybody will appreciate it. You know what I mean? Because we are getting help because I don't know how to use a smartphone. Trust me. A lot of my friends have smartphones and sometimes I see they call a relative and they will be talking to them and they see all the movements. I personally would like to um, interject to that. You know what I mean? So I say kudos and thank everybody for what they have done. You know what I mean? It's very much appreciated, you know? So that's how it is. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it very much. And I'm glad that you all don't forget the road that we walk. Because this little road we always forget. People always forget that. But thank you very much for the little road. Got a little road always there. You never move. <laughs>